In the past, customers did not expect or have many choices. Companies took advantage of that to design static processes that was same for all the customers. Companies focused on standardizing the way they did things to gain efficiencies. In this scenario, it made sense to model such static processes to understand how things worked and how it could be optimized. Times have changed. Customers want more choices and are more demanding. The days of shepherding all customers through the same process are over. In this scenario, processes need to be flexible. Since the processes are dynamic and could be constructed on the fly, does it even make sense to use the old process modeling paradigm anymore? Let's take some examples of customers planning a vacation. Some customers want to explore places to go, depending on what they're interested in. Others have picked out a particular place. Some want to focus on the experience, while others have to work within a fixed budget. Some prefer a tour package, while others want to customize the places they visit. Some want to get to their destination fast, while others want to see places along the way. The choices go on and on. A few years back, we could have modeled a vacation process sequentially and allowed the customer little flexibility. Today, we have to consider many possible options and be flexible enough to adapt to future customer desires. It's not practical to model each variation of the process. We should not abstract the process to such a high level that the intent of the model does not make any sense. So what are our options? How do we understand and implement all these different variations? We need a paradigm shift in our thinking. Instead of thinking in terms of process, we need to think in terms of modules that can be dynamically assembled in many sequences. There are still many constraints, like we can't take a payment from a customer until we know her travel details, but we could potentially take separate payments for the airline ticket after it's booked and some critical hotels then expect to get filled up fast, but we don't have to take payments for all of them. This means that we need to design modules that can be assembled on the fly to meet the customer needs. For each customer, the modules that are assembled can be different, and hence the process can be different. Why then are we still modeling this as a static process? True, there are some parts that still need to be modeled, such as taking a payment, but we should not be using process maps to model dynamic scenarios, just because that's the only thing we know how to do. Rather, I think there is a need to create a much more flexible modeling paradigm, one that can take into account such variations. In real life, we make dynamic decisions all the time. You may think you will have dinner at home tonight, but if a friend invites you to join him for a show, you're going to change your mind. The point is, many process modelers force fit static process modeling in all situations because it's the only tool available to them. This will not get us where we want to go. We need a different modeling paradigm.